Hey guys, are you ready to get so much five star gear you are literally going to be making your girlfriend jealous? I'm going to show you two or three ways to get every piece of your five star gear in literally just a couple of hours and max out every gray set that you could possibly want extremely fast. This includes the monkey farm as well as some other farms. And I'm going to show you the numbers here. To show you the numbers don't lie, you can go in here and just completely max out everything and max out your character completely and deck out your character in the most powerful and OP gear in the game right now. I'm going to go through all those numbers, show you how to get all of this stuff super easy, super quick, even faster than before. And I'm going to be showing you how many five star items I actually get out of these runs that I'm testing. I tested a certain amount of runs in a row. That way I can show you what the percentages are of how often you should get these items. You can see here my luck. Obviously the main thing you want to do is run a luck build at least 200 plus luck if you can i'll go over that in a minute but here are the current runs and this farm is done on this mission i'm showing right now on the screen so i did 13 consecutive runs and what i did was i kept track of every single item that i got for those 13 runs so that way i could put those together in this video to show you guys how much gear i'm actually getting from the runs with my luck rate currently what it is and with my drop rate bonuses on my gear that being said, I get a ton of three star items, still getting a lot of three star items, but the big deal here is now that the buff rates have been increased, we're getting a ton of four star and five star items when you have, like I said, that luck and drop rate bonus. You can see here, even though I have a ton of three star items, that's because my drop rate items are giving me a lot extra items that drop. You can see though, we're up to nine four star items and 11 five star items. And eventually on run 13, end up with 11 five stars and 11 four stars. This is huge because that's 22 pieces that could be grace set items and 11 five star items. So you can see the numbers here, nine out of 13 runs had a five star item in them, meaning that's 69%. So maybe I'm just lucky at the meantime, but these numbers are definitely much better than before. And 11 out of 13 five star items compared to the runs. So we got 11 five star items. 13 runs we almost got one per run which is actually really insane I meaning you're going to be able to max out all this stuff extremely quick now now i'm going to go over the build real quick but make sure you stick around because we still have one more final thing to max out your character here you can see my luck is 224 pretty close to maxed out so for weapons and gear really all you need to do is make sure you have ice attack power and luck on every piece of gear you also want to make sure you have equipment drop right a on a piece of gear and you can get this by actually just going to the hidden village and buying the master smith hammer this will automatically come with equipment drop right a on it as well also for the rest of your gear you're going to want to make sure again you have ice attack power and luck on every piece of gear that you possibly can some i don't hear because I just do enough damage, but you want to make sure luck is on every piece of gear. That way you're getting the best items that you can. And for the accessories, you want two of these bronze Lubo dices. These are going to give you the max amount of luck you can have. And you can find some of those using the accessory farm in the description below. For spells, we're going to want to use Amplify Damage, Overpower Burst. Then we're going to want to use Ominous Chill. This is obviously the best skill to kill the monkey. So we're going to want to make sure we have it set up that way. And you can see here the entertainer garb and the entertainer footwear. You're going to need to obtain those two pieces via this mission right here because these are the only way you can get luck on those pieces of gear. So if you don't have those two pieces, make sure you go and complete Fate of the Entertainer to get those two pieces with luck on them. Next, we're going to look at the other farm that you need to run consistently, Centuries of Glory. This farm in this level is going to be super important because it's going to allow you to get almost every single grace set super easy on your ranged weapons meaning that it's going to give you an extra grace set bonus item so that way you don't have to max out let's say your weapons both with a grace set um, and it gives you one free point towards your grace set or sets overall if you have set bonus mitigation but you need to have a grace item on your range gear right so you're just going to run this farm and do exactly as i do now some of you may already completely know this but i'm going to show you with the drop rates of the monkey now being buffed combined with this and the changes they recently made before the patch this farm was pretty difficult to do sometimes because once you would get to the chest you could actually go to activate the chest and actually revive someone via their flag but now that they've changed the commands literally if you just jump down here click to even open the chest you never hit the other person's flag because of the changes uh, and now you get an item every single time super easy 
you get a crossbow, you just restart the level, run it again. And over maybe like an hour, you can probably obtain every single grace set in the game for your ranged weapon by doing this. You can see going in here checking and I do have the grace of Ling Bao grace set on this item. That being said, make sure you guys scroll down right now and subscribe to the channel. Like the video if it helped you out. That being said, thanks.